Hey, Chad with Happy Hen House here. I'm going to take a few minutes to run you through the setup menu of the uh, Happy Hen House automatic chicken coop door opener controller with the uh, timer and light sensor function. So when you plug your batteries in, the screen will pop up. Um, if it goes away, it only stays on for a certain amount of time. Um, I'm going to show you how to get that back up, uh, what the buttons do, and what each menu item is. So let's hit it. This is the uh, RST button. It's a short for reset. Um, it's not really a, like a factory reset. What it is is it actually resets the door back to the upper position. So you just push and hold that and it will bring the door up until you let it go. So you want to use that once you tie your line to the door. You want to hold that button and bring the door up to the top position and then you're ready to set it up. So we're just going to go, this is the set button, it's the left button we refer to in the instructions and this is the right button. Set button will scroll you through each new menu item, each new advanced, you know, that's how you advance through the menu. Um, and the add button on the right will actually increment those values. So let's wake the controller up, push it, it comes up. Now we're gonna push it again. This is the open menu. So the next parameter, we're gonna set the time here by using the right button. So we'll set, this is the opening time. We want it to, right now I'm just gonna say, let's, oh, we want it to open at seven. So hit that, go to the minutes, and say we wanna open it at, 705. Let's keep going. Open lumens. This is the value of the lumens. If you are using the light sensor mode, you're going to set the value of the lumens here. 16 is what we set from the factory. That's okay. We're just going to leave it. Close. This is the close menu. Uh, a lot of people think that's CL05, but it's actually CLOS. So this is where we set the closing. 1900 equals seven o'clock. I'm going to leave it there. And then the closed lumens is 15. We can change that. However, we, it always needs to be lower than the open lumens, which was on the OL menu. Control, it's at zero. Zero is timer and timer, timer open, timer close. One is timer open light close. Two is light open timer close. And three is light open light close. So we want to set it on three for now because it's easiest to test it that way. We can um, use the light, uh, you know, block the light sensor and we can watch the door go up and down, which is what we want to do to make sure everything's going well. Wake that thing back up. Control three. The now lumen and the nominal lumen is the lumens in the environment right now is 22. Um, if you see when you're at this, you can cover it up and you'll see it goes away. Zero. That's just showing you the current lumen. Oh. In the environment right now, we're gonna all right. So we kind of cover it up. You can see just putting your thumb over it only takes it down to 15, but putting a cap over it takes it to zero. So time, we only need to set the time if we're going to use the actual timer mode. Right now we're setting it um, for light sensor so the time doesn't matter at all. And then we get to done and we hit that left button one more time and now we're good to go. So the things that need to happen for the controller to understand what's going on with the door is that this needs to be over to the left. This signifies that the door, there's weight on the door, 
right? I'm pulling that. It slid over. Um, there's a little sensor right here that actually sees that circuit board. And so if this thing is slid over, that means there's weight on this door. And that means it's in the up position to the controller. It's pretty simple logic. Uh, this thing is pulled over to the left. It means the door is in the upper position. It's to the right. That means the door went down and it's resting on something. So if it, if it rests on top of a chicken, it just stops turning um, until the chicken gets out of the way. The doors are very light, so it doesn't hurt anything. Um, but when the, there's weight on the door, you'll see it pulled like that. So to test these, all I ever do is push that over, sorry, push that over with my thumb, cover the light sensor, and you'll see it will start to move after five seconds. It's letting the line out, and it will continue to let the line out until I let that up. So that means your door hit the bottom. It's good to go. Now, we'll pull that off, and you'll see, after five seconds, it's gonna pull it back up, and it will stop where it started from. And that's it. Easy as pie. So, if you have any questions, you can always feel free to reach out to us. We're available at henhousehelp at gmail.com. And uh, we'd love to hear your comments or questions or if you have any feedback. So um, that's about it. It's pretty easy. Um, good luck. Thanks for watching.